Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today is another episode of John Sion testing gear voodoo gear. Is it voodoo or not voodoo? Today's episode, all about summing. I got two summing devices right here. One by Dangerous Music, Dangerous Debux Plus, and by SPL, the Mix Dream XP. We'll test both, test both against summing in the DAW. And I'm curious, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know if I will hear a difference, if you will hear a difference. So let's, let's get right into it. So first up, let's talk about what summing actually is. It is a device, it has to be a hardware device. There is no way to do summing in the box because summing by definition is running audio, is current through something and sum it. It is emulating, simulating, trying to be like a mixing console. Back in the days you had those big SSL Neves and all of the audio was fed into it and it was all summed within that mixer. Nowadays that doesn't make sense, like using such a big mixing console. It's a lot more work, it's way more expensive, you have to clean it, you can't recall it, most of them you can't recall. So working in the box has a lot of advantages, but most people or some people are missing that glue and that kind of analog feel to it. And again, we're in the voodoo territory, kind of. Uh, we'll test it 100%, but yeah, it's it's trying to compensate for not having a mixing console. So in, in practice, you just open up your DAW and you sum out buses. You can get summing devices with like 16 ins and you can get some with 32. I think there are no 64, at least not that I know of. But this way you kind of in your DAW already group different elements and best is to group elements that don't play at the same time. Let's say you have a bass playing in, in the drop and a bass playing in the break. Put them onto one summing channel because they never play at the same time. This way you make sure that the least elements are summed already in your DAW. Here in my setup, I have like an eight channel summing device and a 16 channel device for summing. I run, for example, my kick through channel one and two, then my bass three and four, then maybe all of the other drum elements, five and six, then the vocal seven, eight, and so forth. I mean, you get the point. To test it, I thought about like a simple setup. I will open up a song that consists of exactly the amount of tracks I have available in the summing. Uh, one of my songs that I'm working on. I will sum it through the summing device, both of them, and then run it once through Logic and let Logic sum it. Mastering chain, all of the elements, everything will be unchanged. I will just go take the bus output and change it from one, two, three, four for the summing. I'll change it to one, two within logic and then we'll just compare it. I'll probably just, just play it to you right now. Let's see. I don't know yet. I haven't done it yet. So honestly, guys, was there a difference between A and B? Can you hear a difference? I honestly can't. I, I, I can't hear a difference. Maybe it's me, my ears, maybe the studio here. I don't know. If you can hear a difference, let me know. Let's take those two signals, flip the face on one and see what the difference is between those two on a very, very technical kind of level. So 
So there is a difference if you compare the files and flip the face. But the thing is, first of all, we can't say who of the two is making the difference. We just know there is a difference and the amount of difference. And I have to tell you, like a week ago, we did a very similar test with like very expensive 300 euro cables versus like very cheap cables. And I also made there like a one go through the ADDA conversion without a cable in between to test what the conversion is doing. And what I'm hearing right here sounds very similar to the conversion because you have to think about it. In the box, it's just summing, perfect summing. It's just like ones and zeros added and there's no change to it. When you go out of your computer through a DAAD converter to the summing device and back, it's getting converted twice. I think the AD conversion twice is doing a bigger difference than the summing. I can't confirm it. Like that's at least my findings today here in this studio with my gear and with that song. It might be different if you use another style of music. It might be different if you drive the signal differently into the summing device. But the conclusion for me is to, to reconsider the summing. I will do more tests in the coming days and in a week I will decide if I will keep it or actually maybe replace it. I don't, I don't know yet. I, I have to test it for other different signal strengths, but it's, it's very close in the voodoo region. Like it's, let's say a rating one, like absolute no voodoo, 10 absolute voodoo bullshit like the Vovox cables. I'd place it at voodoo rating seven, around seven. The thing is the ADDA conversion makes it really hard to judge. It's so fine. Again, as I said in the last video with the cables, everything else in your studio matters more. Room acoustics, speakers, any other kind of gear, what kind of plugins, the creative stuff you're using it changes the sound more. I mean, let's just look at the waveform. I exported a kick, no summing, and I exported a kick running through the summing. Of course, without summing anything, because it's just like that one file. But I just wanted to know if the summing device, just running something through it, if it changes anything. And the waveform is so close, so, so close, that I doubt that anyone can hear the difference. That's at least my conclusion. Again, style of music might make a difference. Other summing devices. I also tested the dangerous one. <laughs> like, no, no difference. It's even pointless playing it to you, showing it to you. And yeah, it maybe frees up money to buy more gear. Let's, let's maybe see what Andy, Andy the gear guy, has for me today. There he is, Andy the gear guy. One round of applause. He doesn't talk a lot. What do you think about summing, good or bad? This looks like he doesn't know for sure. Any new gear today? No new gear? No new gear, wow. What now? Okay, he's taking the summing out. No more summing. I think he wants to test it himself. Andy the gear guy is like the most pro human being when it comes to audio equipment. He'll test it in his test facility and then we'll know for sure. Maybe now some new equipment? No? I, like, why is he taking my keyboard? I don't like that. I hope it's because more gear is arriving. I don't know. That guy's weird. I mean, he's good at what he's doing, but not really communicating. I still trust him 100%. You should as well in a week. Again, more results. That's it for today. Summing my opinion. Don't worry about it. Really, don't worry about it. If it makes you feel better using it, then use it. If you're on a tight budget, probably get everything else before. And yeah. That's it. Next week, probably another episode. Let me know what I should test. We got very expensive cables already. I'll link it down below. Today's summing. I think next 
since we talked about ADDA conversion, maybe checking out conversions against each other with Andy the Gear Guy. Uh, let's see, let's see.